can never allow what people think about you. You can never allow the perception that the world has of you to limit you. Jesus asked the disciples, he said, who do men say that I am? And the disciples had a description. But then when he asked Peter, he says, who do you say that I am? Peter said, thou art the Christ, the son of the living God said unto Peter, flesh and blood have not revealed this unto you, but my Father, which is in heaven. Oh, I get so excited, I can't even contain myself almost by telling you this. The same way that the Father, which is in heaven, had to reveal to Peter who Jesus was. the Father has to reveal to you who you are. Because who you really are is not written in the earth. Who you are is written in eternity. And only the eternal one, the ancient of days, can reveal it to you. And only the internal part of you, which is your spirit, can reveal to you who you are. Every time you allow man to define you, every time you jump in agreement with what people think of you, you are selling yourself short. You have put a confine, you have, you have put a shackle on yourself. When you let yourself fall into agreement with what people think of you. You have shackled yourself. You have limited yourself. You have sold yourself short. You have spat on yourself and scourged yourself the same way they spat on Jesus and they laughed him and they scorned him while he was on his way to Calvary while he was on his way to Golgotha, while he was carrying the cross, they laughed and scorned him. They'll do the same thing to you. They'll do the same thing to your vision. They'll do the same thing to your destiny. You cannot allow your destiny to be controlled by what people think of you. You cannot allow your destiny to be controlled by who people think you are. It is a revelation that comes in your belly. And if you cannot forgive yourself for what you have done, then you limit your future and your destiny. You can only be who you were. You cannot even metamorphosize and transform God has created you to be. Listen to what the word of God says out of the book of John, the 15th chapter. He said in John 15 verses 1 through 3, I am the true vine and my father is the husband. Every branch that abideth not in me, he taketh away. But every branch that abideth in me, he purgeth it that it bringeth forth more fruit. Then he said, now you're clean through the words I've spoken unto you. Abide in me and I in you. For as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine, no more can ye, except ye abide in me. What this means and what this translates to in the context that I'm using it in is that you can't look at your police record and see who you're going to be. You can't look at your sin, your sinful past, 
and see who you're going to be in your righteous future. Jesus didn't say that you were clean back in the day. He said now, since you've come to the knowledge of the truth, now, since you have been cleansed through the washing of water by the word, now, today, if you shall hear my voice, you are clean through the word I've spoken unto you. Now, today, from this point on, abide in me, meaning live in me. Abide in me, meaning take up residence in me. Abide in me, meaning stay in me. <laughs> and he said, I will stay with you. I will never leave you, neither will I forsake you. And I will be your father, and ye shall be my son. And he said, Peace give I unto you, not as the world giveth, giveth I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You've been equipped with everything you need to complete your course on this earth. Run on because you know what the end is going to be. If you stay in him, it's going to be glorious. Hallelujah. Have a good day.